in history? I don't want to compare, you know. There is colonialism, it's a colonial regime. Military occupation, which is totally illegal, says the United Nations, totally illegal. Uh, when I was on the, in my mission to, to, to the Palestine to the occupied territories, I was very impressed by the force of the resistance of the women, of children, of, of men. By the, they have, uh, they are disarmed. They live in a, uh, fear from the next day. They don't know how what to to to, to eat. Uh, the next day, their land is, is continuously uh, sequestrated. Colonization goes on. The roads uh, are cutting through the countries. In Jordania, it's now five Bantustans. I don't think there will ever be a Palestinian state. It's territorially uh, not possible. The Jordan Valley is completely uh, uh, alienated. I mean, even the, the, the frontiers are, are not there. They can even not be uh, negotiated. And uh, many, many villages have to buy uh, their water from Israeli private uh, companies who come with lorries to sell the waters uh, for, uh, for Shekel. So this is one of the worst occupation which exists, existed in, 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 in modern times. I think uh, responsible, naturally, for hunger, for physical and psychological destruction, but there is resistance. And what I do not accept as an European is the complicity of the European Union, of the European states, uh, with the occupying forces, you know, that America is protecting, financing, and so the occupation. You, that's, well, that's what do you think that the European Union should have a minimum of principle? Hamas uh, won democratic elections who were supervised by European observers. And once the victory of Hamas was there, then Europe said, ah, we don't talk to you anymore, we join uh, the blockers. This is such a hypocrisy, such a, such a total cynicism, you know, uh, that uh, Europe betrays itself. As a citizen, I think this quartet is a window dressing, you know. It's a, the, it's a, it's an illusion, it's, it's there just to cover up the situation and to keep it immobile and the United Nations should naturally withdraw from the quartet and the European Union also and the United Nations should have an offensive policy, I mean an active dynamic policy that international human rights and humanitarian law before Geneva Conventions and the human rights are respected by Israel. They, uh, it's the only country in the world who just negates any, any obligation to respect international law.